Good evening, guys. Thank you for joining me. Well, about two hours ago, there was a magnitude 3.9 earthquake along the Hayward Fault. It occurred at 6.29 p.m. Pacific Standard Time or 8.29 Central Daylight Time. So far, 10,366 people have reportedly felt this earthquake. It was originally a magnitude 4.0, which USGS revised to a 3.9. It was 10 kilometers in depth, which was actually about six and a half miles in depth. And it was felt over a very wide area, all the way up to Ukiah, Ukiah uh, Yuba City, Lake Tahoe, um, Merced, Soledad, Fresno, Bakersfield, San Luis Obispo. Yeah, look at that, all the way down there in Southern California. Los Angeles, um, Long Beach, etc. Using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Like I said, this is the Hayward Fault. And as you know, any earthquake has a 20% chance of being a foreshock for something much larger. USGS gave it an intensity level of 4. Says here, during the day, felt indoors by many, outdoors by few. At night, some are awakened, dishes, windows, doors are disturbed, walls make creaking sounds, sensation like a heavy truck striking the building. Standing automobiles would be rocking noticeably. We have two moment tensor balls for this fault line. We got spreading, probably rupturing of the fault line. Um, the first wave of the earthquake came from the north. This is a south direction type of fault zone where it moves south. Tension was applied or is happening here on the east. The other focal mechanism ball, same thing, the pressure came, well, from the north, not so much on the east, and tension was applied going west. So these two focal mechanism balls have two different things. There's the one, tension on the west, and this other one, tension on the east but we got spreading here and we got two different depths for this earthquake we got 16.0 kilometers and 8 kilometers they also sent out a shake alert did you guys get a shake alert as it covered uh, Concord, Oakland uh, parts of San Mateo, Fremont, San Leandro, etc. My mother, who lives there, who called me, did not mention getting a shake alert. She said she was standing up and felt it, said she heard it and then felt it. But she lives right along the coast there um, in Daly City. So going back to Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake. Did you have damage from this? I would not be surprised if there wasn't some light damage. Things got knocked off the shelves. Um, all right, there is one Twitter post here I'll show you about damage. It says here, I literally bought an earthquake pack, pack kit two days ago, waiting for delivery, lived in the Bay Area since 1976. I literally screamed. It was that hard of a shake. This was different. Had it continued, there'd be more serious damage. I took these pictures this morning. Uh, they got some cracks in their plaster. Looks like, uh, is that a roof? I don't know. They only have one picture posted. Is that a ceiling? I don't know. Another Twitter post, Din Din, damage caused by earthquake in my home, San Lorenzo, California, but there's no image and no description. Another Twitter post, just felt an earthquake about 20 minutes ago. Now, this was posted about an hour ago in Marin. Apparently, it was a 4.0. Felt like a big jolt slamming the house, but no damage. Well, evidently it was a magnitude 4.2 before they revise it to a 4.0 and then the 3.9. Here's a, a report. The magnitude is often set by the felt report. So if you don't send in a felt report or don't send in damage reports, they will downgrade the earthquake. Yeah, another report saying how it was um, a 4.2. All right, here's another one. Like I literally got off the BART shuttle 
at Oak after arriving back here and we were told that there was just an earthquake so they have to perform a track inspection to make sure there was no damage before we go anywhere and I thought sounds about right and for those of you that did report this earthquake here is a response versus time plot so within the first 10 minutes they had 6,360 reports 15 minutes later they got 7,000 almost 8,000 reports uh, 20 minutes later 8,665 uh, 9,000 25 minutes later reports evidently are still coming in let me pull this over for you 30 minutes later 9,055 uh, 35 minutes 9,788 and you can see that there 40 minutes later 10,000 and then uh, 10,034 and that's as far as it goes 10,362 an hour later so you might want to check your gas lines you might want to check your foundation um, yeah things like that it's up to 10,668 reports now so did you have damage what did it feel like how long was the shaking um, how did your pets react before and after this earthquake are you even prepared for a major earthquake the Hayward fault is the most dangerous fault there is there in the San Francisco Bay Area many people think it's the San Andreas fault and it's not it's the Hayward fault so thank you for watching thank you for subscribing please stay safe and I'll talk to you later God bless you. Bye.